Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you a variety of tech-related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little white bell so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to configure the WAN port of a Unify Security Gateway. All right, guys, so I'm working with a Unify Security Gateway that I set back to factory default settings. Now, when configuring the WAN port of the USG, that's all going to be dependent upon the type of connection you guys are receiving from your ISPs. So, for example, the USG can be configured to DHCP, PPPoE, or static IP. So, to take a closer look at each of these, with the DHCP WAN mode, it says here a method of connection where the ISP assigns your IP address when your router requests one from the ISP server. So it's pretty much plug it in, leave it set to DHCP, and the ISP should issue an address and you should be good to go. With PPPoE, which stands for Point to Point Protocol over Ethernet, it says this selection, select this option if your ISP requires to you, you to use a PPPoE Connection. This method of connection requires you to enter a username and password, which is provided by your ISP to gain access to the internet. And then finally, a static IP WAN mode basically is when it's used when your ISP provides you a set IP address that does not change. The IP information is manually entered in your IP configuration settings. You must enter the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, primary DNS server, and secondary DNS server and your ISP should provide you with all of this information. So now, if you're not sure what type of connection you're getting from your ISP, be sure to check with them before trying to set up the USG or really any other router for that matter. So let's take a look at the USG's default um, user interface. Now remember, it's been factory default back to its original address of 192.168.1.1. All right, guys, so let's take a look at how to configure the WAN port of the Unify Security Gateway. As you can see in the picture, it's set to factory default, and that's evident by the white light on top of the unit. I have my computer plugged directly into the USG's LAN port, and I'm receiving an address from the USG over DHCP. Even though it is set to factory default, it is dishing out addresses in the DHCP range. So that being said, I have my browser point to the default address of the router, which is 192.168.1.1. And it has a security message on the screen, and that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and click Advanced, and then proceed to 192.168.1.1. And that brings us to the USG's main page. And there's a couple of messages right up at the top um, that we don't have to worry about at this time. It's telling us that it's not able to connect to the internet, and that's because I don't have anything plugged into the WAN port. And it's also telling us to please install the Unify controller to manage the gateway. Um, and that, again, that's for another video, but for the purpose of this video, to continue with um, the WAN port settings, you could see here that the WAN settings are blank. And we're going to click on configuration. And under the connection type dropdown, you'll see DHCP, PPPoE, and static IP. Now, those are the three we discussed earlier in the video. If I was connecting to an ISP uh, that provided a DHCP connection, all I have to do is set it to this, click Apply Changes, and I'm good to go. However, in my case here at the studio and at the house, I have a connection from my ISP that's PPPoE. So I have to actually put in a username, a password, and then preferred DNS and alternate DNS. The username and the password definitely comes from your ISP. The preferred DNS you can get from them or you can just use public DNS servers. Once that information's been entered, you go ahead and click the apply button. And then finally, with a static IP, you're going to take the information provided to you from your ISP, fill it into these fields here, and hit Apply Changes. That's pretty much all there is to it, guys. And once you do that, you're good to go. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick, simple video on how to configure the USG's WAN port dependent upon 
your ISP connection type. So if you liked the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links if you need anything. It doesn't change your price, but it does support the channel and keep the content flowing. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.